<laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome to Monster Party. Monster Party! <laughs> Monster Party! <laughs> yes, another spooky episode is about to hit your consciousness. And I would like to welcome my fellow Monster Partiers. Oh, uh, hey. First of all, I am Matt Weinhold, and then we have... Sean Sheridan. And Larry Stroth. And James Gonis. And our very special guest. Special. special very guest. special guest. He is a actor, a director, artist, Sorry. architect, writer, <laughs> uh, jazz man, uh, David. Singer, songwriter. Yes. David Anthony Higgins. David. All right. Can we call you, with can we call you Dave? Great. Yeah. It's all right sure. to call you Dave. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks for joining now, us. Can we do the moment of silence now? <laughs> We're going to need a lot. There's going to be a lot of silence in this thing. Because okay. it's a very special yeah. show. Yeah, very, very special. We're, we're already terrified. I'm scared. Yeah, you should be. Matt, what is the theme? The theme for today's show is ghosts. Oh, wow. Uh, well, that's actually great because I've got a new show. On, yes. Uh, oh. uh, audience do, do tell. It's on DirecTV on Audience Network. Oh, Channel wow. 239. I've heard of that. It's called International Ghost Investigators, Hollywood Division. Uh, when the uh, denizens of Tinseltown have uh, ghostly troubles, they call us. So. Wow. Cool. wow. Yeah, that sounds great. And I watched uh, the episode with uh, Jenny McCarthy, which I thought was hilarious. Mm-hmm. It was a, you saw it, it actually, the one you saw was actually uh, a shortened version. A shortened version. Oh, okay. Uh, the one, they, we... We originally did it, and then there's no uh, – my partner, Paul Greenberg, and I do the show. Also very hilarious. Very funny man. Mm-hmm. Uh, we They told us there's no person there that does any standards and practices. There's not a person at DirecTV. So really? That show is filthy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, and, in and a delightfully you, scary but, way. But that's the edited version. The full version is much more nasty, but the one on YouTube that Lay it was, on me. that's not official. Wow. You wow. should see wow. the real one. Wow. We should we should after the show just watch that. I think that's, that's what we're some sort do of like afterwards. Red well, Fox like party yeah. record. I could do that. Uh well, the topic of ghosts. I mean, there's so much that you can do because there's 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 movies, there's television, there's toys, there's just I mean, it's 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 the list is endless. But uh, you know, there are a couple of Great classic ghost movies that I really, really love. That maybe a lot people aren't uh, don't know them very well. Like uh, one is called The Uninvited. This is from like 1944 Ray Milland. with Ray Milland. Oh, yeah. and, and people forget this is the guy. He, he went on to win an Academy Award, uh, not in this film, but I mean, he's very, very. But capable. soon after that, yeah. I think uh, that movie's just before um, Lost Weekend. That's yeah, right. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. this was when you were in ghost movies in the 40s, When you were in the in movies in that in general. Uh, you were low on the totem pole when you did a ghost movie. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, they were like yeah, more the, within yeah, the next yeah. year, uh, if you're if you're yeah. bumping into a Bowery boy on the set, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, back in the '40s, <laughs> yeah. that was not a great thing. To, I mean, today it doesn't have that stigma at all. Mm. But back in the day, the guys who did horror were sure, yeah, you know, lower on the totem. You know, but, pole. But, yeah. but but like with horror movies today and, and monster movies, I mean, what, what's cool is if you can go back, if you can go back and check out some of these great classic films, like like this this film, The Uninvited. I mean, it's really cool because Ray Milland is. He's like this uh, this composer guy, and he and his sister they buy this old house. Uh, uh, kind his of a, quote but, unquote sister. Yeah, yeah, well, they're buddies. You know, they're they're yeah. they're, they're, they're buddies. It but, was a, but it was, a, it was the, a different time. It was it was a simple time, and and there the, the rumor has it that the house is haunted, and when they get the house, they kind of find out what. Mysteries are right. involved in the house, and kind it's like a it's, classic haunted house, it, right. kind yeah. of gone. And most of them, and a good, and, and a good there's mystery some... behind the, by the who the ghosts are. In that movie, not That's to give right. anything I mean, away. I don't want to spoil good, it for no, anybody because twist. it's really, really, it really surprised me. Mm. Yeah, and and you know, it's not like things like uh, there's not like blood and gore. It's just a really great it's all classic. Atmosphere. It is, it and is. there's a really well, like there's a there's a couple moments that I think are like genuinely chilling. Like when the anytime like the dog won't go into a room, like that freaks me out. Oh no, that's great. I love stuff like that. I love, I love, like when you in that movie. There's like the woman crying. Yes, there's something yes. about a so crying. crying and yeah, like, it's that's creepy. the only way I can get an erection. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> well, it, it's, if you haven't seen it, you, you should check it out because that is a re- really it's great. Cool, now, cool. Dave, you over the time that we've known each other, you. Uh, obviously, very much into film and classic film, and uh, what would be one of your favorites? Uh, 
One of my favorite ghost movies. One of my favorite ghost movies is uh, the Ghost of Mr. Chicken is definitely one of. Them. Oh, oh I mean, wow! I, but that, I, that just gave me an erection. <laughs> <you say that? laughs> I love that genre. I've been trying to make a, a horror comedy for a while. I keep writing ones so, it's, because it's like I always a 60s think, horror comedy. Well, you know, first of all, yeah, exactly. But there's that whole thing of how when you watch a horror movie, being afraid and laughing, they're they're on that same like path, mm-hmm. yeah. and you'll see it in any great horror films. They'll scare you, and then you'll giggle right after. You know, like right. they'll have a laugh yeah. right after. Horror movies do have comic timing. Yes, yes, they do. And yeah. also, there's it's that whole nervous laughter thing too, mm-hmm. where you laugh at the idea that you were scared at something that's you know, you know, they always do the fake scare in every. <laughs> Every yeah. horror movie. The cat, the little, fake you know, one, yeah, exactly. the cat comes out of the closet. Yeah, 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 there needs yeah, to be a release, a little bit yeah, of release. Yeah. yeah. Well, and what's what's great about The Ghost of Mr. Chicken is how when – and this is something I think that we've talked about before when you're doing a, a horror comedy is that you have to play the horror straight. It, yes, you have, need real scares. Yes. And it has those. And, and the, the atmosphere is great. When that. he's yeah. – when Don Knotts is uh, spending the night in the haunted house, yeah. it's so creepy yeah, yeah, and yeah. spooky yeah. and scary. It's Although fu- the guy doing the spotlight, the timing's off a little bit you know when he has the flashlight and, <laughs> yeah. you know, back then they had to do it with a spotlight because you yeah, totally. the light. yeah so it's all shot with blue gel and then they the, the guy on the spotlight will be doing don Knotts's flashlight but it'll uh, move and jump but then that's just creepy like wow well it's there's like, a lot of things flashlight about, yeah. is possessed there's a lot of things about that film that are creepy and people forget it's like oh it's don Knotts and it's a comedy hey but they forget i mean there's a lot of creepy stuff mm-hmm. in that well, just organ looking, music is always looking scary. at that music the, yeah. the organ music alone right? there's that sh- there's a shot where you see the organ and it has like the blood of blood the, the stains. Blood stains. Yeah. That creeped me out as a kid when yeah, I saw they it. Couldn't, even get, you couldn't get it out with Bonnie. <laughs> uh, and also like the whole the painting and the, the scissors in her throat. I mean all that stuff is so first oh of all God. hilarious but then great scares that are all real scares. Right. And when he's scared like outside you know waiting for the ride like you know after he's run out of the house and it's like you're with him. You're like yeah I would have ran out too. Yeah, you know? yeah. Even the beginning like I'm already getting nervous when just before, when he's in the house. In the yeah. house right yeah. and everyone's getting him the flashlight mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, the uh, But before he because remember he goes in the house at first because his car broke down. Right? Is it? Or is well, it, he hears he. It's it's near, isn't it? Uh, uh, what is it? Calber Weems, who is hit by the plane. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, murder, murder, yeah. <laughs> murder. But he's like kind of in the house just accidentally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then right. brags about it to the girl, mm-hmm. and so then the newspaper guy suggests that he go in and right, right, you know, spend the night. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. It's if you haven't seen that film. It's worth a see. The Ghost of Mr. Chicken. And it's sort of a nice, it's kind of a nice big budget, like, distillation of the Andy Griffith show. It has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, the great feel of the show. Great great Vic Vic Mizzy. Vic Mizzy uh, soundtrack. And Alan Rafkin, right? Is uh, the, not Rafkin, uh, the the longtime director of uh, uh, Of Andy uh, Andy Griffith show, yeah. Yeah, I can't. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. All right. We should should know that. Is that that ghost related? Do we, do we know that one? Do Remember the, all know. those ghost episodes on yeah. Andy Griffith? Yeah. <laughs> they did have a ghost episode on Andy Griffith. Of course oh they my God, did. It was counterfeit. Yeah, it was counterfeit. Uh, yeah. yeah. At least one. So it, it was more of like a Scooby-Doo. Like it turned yeah, out yeah, to be. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of those movies, and, and, and Ghost of Mr. Chicken is one of them. The Haunted House theme starts off early in film off of a, a play. The, mm-hmm. the, the uh, Canary? What is Cat, that? Oh, Cat, Cat and the, the Canary. canary. Yeah. That's right. Is the, the basis of... Basically every horror film, uh, every ghost, every, every haunted house, old dog yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So but then, your car breaks down in the rain. You go inside, mm-hmm. and then in that one, it turns out like the stage version's different than the first film, which was silent. Right, right. and then they made and a Bob a Gorilla one. Right, and then they made a Bob. <laughs> of course, Bob was that the Ritz? One? There is a right. Bob Hope. Was and they the made Gorilla a... the, with the Ritz brothers? Was that Cat and Canary? No, no, there was a Cat and the Canary where it's a gorilla. Yeah, that's up. that's right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. spoiler alert. The first sound person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you but know, it's but... also that great. I love, I love when the Bowery Boys run into a gorilla. Anybody, kids in the hall do the sketch on it, but it's the whole thing of reaching back. You need to trim your nails. You know, <laughs> right, 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 yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, talking about um, big budget ghost comedies, I've been thinking about Ghostbusters in 84. Oh, right. and, oh. Great. Yeah, but you know, uh, I think it might have been better if they had played the 
uh, ghost stuff a little straighter. Well, they did, except for Slimer. Except yeah, for Slimer. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I would, I would have voted to get rid of Slimer. Oh, I agree, no, I agree. I, I'm sorry. I agree. No, I loved Slimer, guys. I absolutely loved Slimer. It I was thought, almost like Slimer, Slimer was, for was the like kids. the yeah, yeah. It was like yeah. The, but he was like the the you know I don't know the the red skeleton of ghosts. No, 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 no. That's a little harsh. I I don't think he was like the red. Skeleton. But like, but like, the, but also he, he was, was like that toy. lovable. He was like the in the cartoon yeah, yeah. version. He was yes. a lovable pet. But like, yeah, but that. The ghost in the library was you know? really scary in the beginning. Yes. Yeah. 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 And then her face changed. I don't, yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. consider the cartoon part of the actual official Ghostbusters canon. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of ignoring that <laughs> uh, right now. The real Ghostbusters. And in yeah. my fan fiction, I actually do an origin of Slimer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I did like Slimer. Uh, th- there is something about that little little pudgy uh, ghost that's just constantly eating. And I just... and, well, and I also mean, Abbott and, and, and Costello and, 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 was great at, at, in the ghost movies, too. But I'm, oh, yeah, I'm, hold that ghost. Hold that ghost. Yeah. Hold that ghost. Yeah. Hold yeah. Now, do you know, can you tell me, um, Scared Stiff, the Martin Lewis movie... Mm-hmm. Now that was, I think, based on a show or something too, right? Was that one that had been done again and again? Or do you, no, you're do right. You know? It was. Gosh, I think. Yeah, I wish. Uh, I wish we had the internet available. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. but that would be cheating. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> and no, does really anyone can. really care that much? Well, the whole, th- uh, you know, all those movies though, I think, are based on the the cat and the canary. I mean, basically, or, yeah, yeah, or other like, ghosts. Anytime story. you go into a house, the the you know the creepy butler, the whole. I mean, that was all those elements were in this this play that took place in the in the nineteen. 19- Teens into the twenties, and it was a huge hit right, on Broadway. Right. Uh, also, uh, Dracula was, even though that's, we're not on that subject. But the idea of these stage plays, we were watching. You don't see horror stage plays like you did back in the twenties, right? Right. True. As an entertainment genre. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, I one of my favorite ghost movies is the ghost? Innoc- the Innocence. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh yeah. my! I have. Oh yes, I it's have that. Such a great movie. Uh, what is based that one? On, it's based on uh, the Turn of the Screw, Henry James, uh-huh. mm-hmm. and it's about these housekeepers that are, are, were in some sort of torrid romance, and they end up dying, and then like a new governess comes on and sh- oh yeah who's little in that kids are Deborah being Carr. Deborah Carr Deborah, Deborah Carr. Carr okay yeah, yeah and yeah, these yeah, kids yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- that she's taking care of are now being haunted. possessed aren't they possessed well, possessed somewhat. to yeah. kind of both yeah. yeah being kind of like influenced and influenced. controlled by the right because they're doing horrible things to Deborah Carr <clears throat> right the kids, yeah. yeah well, yeah. they're just. Uh, it starts off like they're precocious. Yeah, they're, but then they seem like they're really good kids, but then they'll do things that that you wouldn't expect these good little kids to do. Right. right. And there's always this this sort of thing that, like, if you really heard what they were sp- speaking about to themselves, that it would be this horrible stuff that they've been taught by the oh, yeah. character. <laughs> well, right, right. well, without giving too much away. Yeah. And the, the way that's shot and, and the way it's filmed, it's not like you have stuff like jumping out at you or anything no, like no. that. Another atmosphere. Talk movie. about and that's and also black and white, right? It's black, black and, and white. Yes. Isn't it, it a is so incredibly early 60s creepy. or late yeah. 60s? Uh, it's, uh, 61. 61. 61 yeah. So that's, yeah. again, a, that idea we were talking about before the podcast was you do horror films, you do dramas in black and white, and your comedies would be in color. You know, it's a mad, 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 mad world giant technicolor you know <laughs> but then the black and white you could be more serious or scary or yeah, spooky right. yes Shadows. and i think there is something to that oh, young no. frankenstein which has nothing to do with ghosts but again it's like this great return to black and white film right, well right. there and there are certain things that really lend themselves to black and white and that treatment and uh well, i would say the innocence is absolutely one of them because there are so there's so many things that are done with Dark, shadows shadow, yeah. and and uh, like there's such a great I remember this wonderful scene of where Deborah Carr is playing hide and go seek with the kids and she's hiding out and she's hiding behind a curtain next to a window and she turns around and there's one of the ghosts on the other side of the glass yeah. Which, oh yes yeah 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 which that kind of stuff just if I saw if I turned around and saw anything and, but on the other side of a glass I'd freak out also isn't he a Spaniard <laughs> Which would be very well, scary. A case in yeah. point is also uh, the haunting. Yeah, the yeah, original black and white classic. Robert Wise. That was versus, 63. Versus the remake. Mm-hmm. Which was oh, know, don't even uh, talk about that. Color, which... Don't even go but, there. But the original Haunting yeah. is is a great spooky Robert uh, Wise atmospheric, atmospheric film. Well, and talk about there... iconic moments yeah. like uh, I think it's um, Julie Harris 
I think she's supposed to be in this room in the dark with Claire Bloom, mm-hmm. yeah. and she's she thinks that she's like hold, they're holding their hands. Did you ever hear the stories hands? of it too? Where and she's like, oh, you're squeezing my hand so hard, then the lights come on or whatever. She sees now there's nobody. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's great. Yeah. 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 And there's great stuff that they did that Robert Wise does number just with sound. Yeah, and oh, he yeah. does yeah. sound design is amazing, and it, it's so great what what they do. Not yeah. as good as the remake. Now, but when she oh, discussed God, it, she discussed remake. working on that film though too, is they were horrible to her and kind of kept her on edge. Edge. Really? Purposely? Yeah, to purposely of, to keep her Because her character that. was like that. She's her, constantly yeah. in a panic, and also she was going through a divorce or something at the time. Like, wow. It was a horrible time for her. And wow, they kept good. Going. <laughs> yeah. 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 So Robert Wise just got her like, <laughs> uh, listen, let's keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, I know you guys are divorcing, listen, but if you could call you her. You get off the phone. Exactly. <laughs> I don't, the ad campaign for that was great, though, which was, you may not believe in ghosts, but you cannot deny terror. <laughs> Do you deny terror? You can't deny it. We you know, fought a war against it. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, movie, I, I hate Great these uh, terror deniers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that's part of the whole thing with uh, you know. In terms of, we, there's such a, a little fine line, even within uh, within people's realities and uh, how people who believe in ghosts and also believe in uh, possession and like, mm-hmm. demonic possession. And it's always like you know, depending on the ghost hunter. This is either a demonic possession right. or it's a ghost. We're not right, sure. Right, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the same kind of thing. Uh, they always say they have a thing in, in ghost hunting that it's an, an active or an inactive haunting. Mm-hmm. Now, an inactive haunting is when it's memories of something. And you'll see it in film. Like leering. Like, yeah, like a, it'll be the dance ball. And you'll start hearing the music from the dance ball. Right, right. So it's like a and vibe in the house. house kind exactly. Of and it's basically you're reliving okay. a historical mm-hmm. moment. Yeah. Like vibrations. It's like stuck right. in a, rec- yeah. like a record stuff. And then an totally. active one is more of the poltergeist or where it's an active haunting where there's a spirit Right, in the or like house. paranormal activity or something. Where yes, it's exactly. Out. It's like a malevolent. Yes, yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's like the entity. Mm-hmm. But, but, yeah. now, but, but now an active one doesn't necessarily have to be malevolent, right? It could be just no, it could be contacting you. they also can be just mischievous, mischievous. You know, they can also just be, you know, like I think poltergeist. The German word re- really means like hate the Jews, spirit. Right. <laughs> but I mean, it's, right. it's, it's yeah. playful. It's like right, that right. type of thing. Well, in most in most ghost stories, what the reason for the haunting is that there's something unresolved in the previous life, which the ghost is trying to work out by. But it's also that kind of thing within us as human beings. We want to have a logical explanation for the haunt. Right. Right. You know, which is great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but also, you know, or, or it's like, it. in almost every movie, in all the great ghost movies, they almost end up being, they prove that it's not a ghost, but then it is. Like mm-hmm. they give you yeah. that little thing at the very end of the movie yeah. that it right, was, right. well, it but was like, old Farmer Johnson. But, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but like, I always like this one where, you know, you. They always throw this thing out there where it's like, well, the ghost doesn't – the entity doesn't know it's dead. Yeah, Which, right, well, that's, right, that's yeah. one That's one thing. Where yeah. Goes, I'm not but dead yet. It's then, silly. <laughs> it's like if you're like, what are you – you're hanging – you know, okay. like, hello, hi. When eventually you get to a place where, you know, I think I'm probably dead. Well, did you see The Sixth Sense? Oh, spoiler yes. alert. Right, right. Spoiler alert. Well, there's a cu- – actually, there's <laughs> a couple, movie, there's a couple ghosts, of films w- without giving too much away. That I think too probably much everybody away. listening to this podcast as well. Is pretty much guaranteed. Don't give away the seventh sense. That, <laughs> yeah. Dave, you're saying six cents. Oh no, just the idea of that. Yeah, he just you know he's a ghost. They're all that. Well, know, oh, that's, that's, ah, but that's the brilliant ah, thing about that movie is that it's sorry from, it's from everyone, the other side. Sorry. It's, right, it's right. Like no, it's brilliant. You that, turned that it around. Movie, and, you know, is really it only a brilliant only film? Like Shyamalan and Ding Dong. Yeah, it's only a good movie. Yes. Well, and if, <laughs> along those same lines, not to give too much away. <laughs> too late. No, 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 no. In a different vein. No, no, no. In a different vein, the movie The Others from 2001 with Nicole Kidman. Right. Not not to give too much away about that particular thing. There is right, a, right. a situation that where uh, the ghost thing is, you know, they're right. not Who, sure. Who's a ghost? Who's exactly, a ghost. exactly. Also, and yeah. that was really, really well done. Again, another film where it created, they, they used a lot of atmosphere stuff right, right. To, to really, you know, make the goosebumps I, I like, jump. And, I, like, um, I like movies also where um, ghosts are gravitated towards someone who has is grieving or has had yes. a loss a great great film jumping a little bit ahead 1980 The Changeling The Changeling with yeah. 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 George e. Scott yeah. George e. Scott is like a music composer and his uh, his wife and daughter are killed in this horrible car accident and so he's got to just get away and he rents this like turn of a century house and he's grieving he's remembering you know his daughter and his wife and he's all alone and he starts seeing things and hearing things and he doesn't know what it is he thinks is he going crazy and, but it, it does involve like a child of a murdered 
a, a ghost of a murdered child who's kind of reaching right, out to him because right. that, that it sensed his despair and it's trying to reach out to let itself be known what and happened then there's, to there's it. And then there's a couple a other ones like that too. Uh, what's the one um, where it's the little girl who dies and she's trying to reach out and contact her father? Oh, they, Don't Look Now? No. With uh, um, Don Donald Sutherland? I'm thinking... Yes. Yeah, yes. Donald yeah, Sutherland. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, that's yes. another one where it's like Donald Sutherland and Julie Christie are and it's the loss grieving of their own parents, child, right? And you don't know, like it's it's a strange, like they both are having visions and hallucinating. They, and then they, there's actually even another film like that, which is I can't, it's the girl's name, The Haunting of Mary. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but Audrey another, Rose. Audrey Rose. Audrey Rose. Oh, Rose. Rose. Yeah. With, um, right. It's so, also a little more in the on that's the Anthony 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 you know, ghosts and kids into it. I mean, that that it's really, creepy. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Incredibly. Well, creepy. we always said the creepiest thing ever. This is just personally with myself and our people we hang out with. Was the idea of hearing children singing in the woods? <laughs> it's one yeah, of the most yeah. ready things. If you that <laughs> la la la. You know? <laughs> well, yeah. that's what's so, so great about uh, Blair Witch, the original Blair yeah, Witch. Yeah, the right. baby crying. Yeah, all yeah, that I mean, crazy what the stuff. What's going on? Like, why is there a baby yeah. crying in the woods? Uh, it's a witch. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for the witch episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a witch episode. <laughs> well, what, here's also, another, in, what the movie, I, in the yeah. movie Poltergeist, they have all that little that little musical children la la la. And also, it's a. A funky key too. Which Poltergeist mm-hmm. is based on that? St- it's a, there's a, uh, um, um, a short story. There's a Twilight Zone. Little yeah, girl with lost. a girl, little girl. Right, lost. very yeah. much that. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, they're great. Not things a fan of, of Poltergeist. Of Poltergeist? Nope, not really. No, nope. I love Poltergeist. Don't care for it. I, 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 I thought it was great. Go ahead. No, I, I think ahead. it's. Here's what I want to say, though. (laughs) As much as I loved Poltergeist and the the great scene talking about inactive spirits and things, was all the ghosts coming down the staircase. Yes. Yeah. Was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And that effect was so amazing at the time. Mm -hmm. And then, but to follow it with Poltergeist 2, where suddenly. (laughs) That I loved. (laughs) Suddenly. So. Suddenly, uh, you've got, you know, uh, what's his name? What's the father's name? Craig T. Uh, Nelson. Craig T. Nelson. He was scary. And Joe Bates. Well, he he just went through this, but in Poltergeist 2, he goes. I don't believe you know. It's like you're just with <laughs> through it. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And then the yeah. But 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 I will I say you know, the, the, the thing about Poltergeist is it, it, what was really cool. This film, remember, this film came out in '82, Matt. '82, right. Magic Summer of '82. And yeah. the thing I loved about it was it was a contemporary film. Okay, now when you look at it, you could say ah, it looks a little dated or whatever. But it was a contemporary film. It was like people had houses that looked like this. You know, your families were you could like, be in the neighborhoods. We're all, I mean, and and Matt, we're, it, we're hitting that Spielberg thing. Again. Again, like okay, I get it. Yeah, it happens to us. ET can happen to us because we're in the hey, suburbs. No, no, All right, that's no, fine. No, you know the but issue. There's it, so many crappy things in that. Like, there's a Muppet. Like, I'm not afraid of the Muppet in the doorway. That's, oh, oh no, 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 no. Can, 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 no, 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 no from the Halloween back. store. Take that back See, because you, you. That is awful. Because that it is, is awful. No, no, no. It was a ghost doll. It was an awesome. It was an awesome ghost, Matt. You looking at now in your 2014 mind, going, oh, it looks like a Muppet. Back then, back then, Matt. There were some. Are you talking about the one? But the it's, one. it's when she, it's Joe Beth Williams. She goes up, and then the 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 creature stands up and goes, ah, just oh, no, right. oh, through the wall, through the. Just keep away from my yeah. baby. I was like, the, hey, the, hey, the, ghost, uh, why don't you go okay. play the drums? The closet, right? <laughs> oh, you know, I, like, I, I actually dislike the big giant skull less more than I like the Muppet thing. The really, Muppet thing the mind. thing that comes no, up from the side. But the thing about the movie yeah. is that it is, it, to me, it's less a horror ghost story than it, than it is an effect. An effects roller coaster, yeah. and a lot of the effects are inconsistent. I think, and I like all the corpses coming out of the ground and all yeah. that but stuff. But like, it, it was I, it nah. was more like an inconsistent. You know, it was just like <laughs> grumble, grumble, grumble. There's nothing better. There's nothing better. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Screaming. Listen. Go to anyone's house of anyone you know during a horrible rainstorm and just yell. The house was built on an Indian burial ground <laughs> right, or right. whatever. Uh, you know, it's a, I and, do, and really, really they didn't move the bodies. Yeah. You got to move and, and, the and bodies. again, we got to go after the Indians. That really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Not, Blame them but, for but something you else. See, but you see, well, that, was, that too, you know, Matt, wasn't it? Matt, yeah. If you remember, the line was, it's not ancient tribal burial grounds. It's just people. And it's it was regular people. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah, the yeah, Indian wasn't people. Indian. So they weren't going after the Poltergeist. Trying. Poltergeist were trying three. To. No, that was just me. No. Poltergeist, Poltergeist three. Never made. No, just Sean, Matt, just Matt, if you're a oh, desert God. island, 
do you have a DVD of Poltergeist or the Amityville Horror, which is a ah, straight? That's a tough one. You know what? I'll tell you. Well, uh, Amityville Horror. I'll tell you why. Mm. Because um, Margot Kidder takes yes. uh, gets her kid out. She she you know, does kind she, of yeah. And and I would have at least something to beat off to. Well, like, Joe, Joe right. Beth Williams. Joe Williams. Joe Williams. Williams. Oh. Oh. I might be able to get a little bit of a chub when Craig T. Nelson is doing the before oh. after. Yes. Hey, after. You know what? Okay. You know what? Uh, so we disagree, okay? <laughs> oh, can you? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, wait. No, go can ahead. I say, here's, here's one one moment in the film I do like oh. that I think oh. is great. Okay. The, the tree. The tree. No. no, not the tree. The kid uh, counting the lightning. Well, no. Dave, no. let me say what, what is it? I know, and it's not the doll thing either. Okay. That's okay. Anyway, but the... In the kitchen with the chairs. Yes. Yeah. Genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When I Love saw it. that, I went, oh, this is going to be Which good. has been ripped off by every other. Yeah. yeah that was good. Yeah. I, I think that's a genuinely scary, creepy but yeah, moment. Then they I wish all out. Been... It lost all subtlety after that. Right. But then also, yeah. but that, it's like that's all those films are later that, you know, um, Paranormal, Paranormal activities. Paranormal activities. Yeah. That's all they are, is that. Yeah. You know, but what's amazing. Turn the camera, come back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what yeah, yeah. But, right. but are often effective. Dave, for what they're they effective. Those yeah. films are so popular now. I mean, how many How many have they done yeah. now, Sean? It's well, like I mean, four, they, five, they, they tapped four. into something that was kind of fresh and yeah. new. I mean, it was uh, the, the original. Yeah, the found footage thing. Yeah, the original mm-hmm. um, Paranormal Activity, I liked a lot. You know, mm-hmm. and I th- actually liked I the, thought it was all right. Here's the deal. I think all those things are all right for me personally when you first discover them. Yeah, kind of like Blair Witch. And we yeah, first yeah, saw, exactly. you know. Well, the first time I saw it. Blair Witch was on VHS. Yeah. Right, yeah, and yeah. It yeah. the best fantastic. way to see it. And you really Same thought way. it was found yeah. footage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I don't know anymore. But it, it, now, now people are so but savvy But I don't like to that it. as being a business model where the studios try to make films for nothing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's one thing for young filmmakers to ask right, people yeah. to do favors. It's another right. thing for a studio to say, yeah, come really. on, <laughs> hey, do us a favor. And then put like a million dollar ad campaign Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Which is what they did on that. Yes, yes. So, uh, one, sh- so Poltergeist, you Spend weren't really a big fan of. Uh, do you kind no. of consider it kind of like a schlocky? Do you think of it as, no, as a I, schlocky ghost here, here's film? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. Some like, people don't like cherry pie. Yeah, <laughs> and, and some people don't like apple pie. Exactly. Yeah. What, what? Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, the thing with that movie is that it, 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 it's funny because it is a movie that I kind of want to like, mm-hmm. and I have gone back to it over the years and tried again. And I, there's moment, there's again, there's things that I think are creepy with the, you know, the static in the TV, and mm-hmm. they're here, and like I'm like, okay, that's creepy. It's whenever anything else happens when they bring in the uh, the little person and well, all that. In and terms like, of in terms of and films, that goes that, on forever. The but, go into the light. No, not that light. That light. No, you know, it, it, it I gotta go say as long that as you film think. didn't scare me as much as like The Shining. No, oh, that's the thing. it's not really the Shining. Scary. No, the Shining. The Shining. Is, yeah. And I'm gonna consider that a. Ghost. It, oh yeah, absolutely. No, it's, 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 I mean, if you look Stanley at the Kubrick. book, mm-hmm. if you look at the book, it's like the spirit of the hotel, and it's like oh. the furnace of the hotel is the heart of it, and everything. And mm-hmm. but it's certainly a ghost story when you go into it in the film. The, mm-hmm. Totally. And why remake that? that? I mean, that was the thing of Stephen. <laughs> uh, you know, he just thinks it's a horrible version of the Kubrick version, which is so wonderful. It's mm. so wonderful. Yeah, and I've, and there have been attempts. There was the, remember there was like the Stephen Weber, like TV. Yeah. Well, that was one. the one that, that Steve, that uh, Stephen King Steve actually King. approved. approved. Yeah. 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 And it's and terrible. It is terrible. And the thing is, you've got to give up that idea of a great book doesn't necessarily make a great film. Right, right. And yes. it's like, I'll tell you one thing in The Shining, which I love the film The Shining. I think it's brilliant. It scared me at the time, all that. But Scatman Crothers is the worst casting. <laughs> <laughs> I love Scatman Crothers, but I, there's no way you ever felt he was going to save the little oh, boy. No. Well, because it's Scatman. You know, by the time I get to the <laughs> And like, yeah, I, then I, he gets the axe immediately. You go, you know, you know yeah. what I love to <laughs> that. You know what I love to about that movie is that as he, you learn more and more about his character, you're like, oh, you're kind of creepy. Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, when yeah, you yeah. see his apartment at home and he's got oh, all yeah, these... Yeah. Like, you know, you know, that's, Dave, but that's weird. very Kubrick. If you read the book, it says giant Cajun. You know, it's like yeah. it's a, like six foot four Cajun ah, right, right. who's this powerful individual and he gets the sense that he needs help. And you get that from the movie somewhat, but it's still Scatman Crothers is 70 years old. <laughs> but, but you, you know, <laughs> Dave, the, 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 here's something that's kind of weird. Um, for me, Scatman Crothers... This is the guy who was the voice of Hong Kong Fooey. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> and, 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 so and I have to no, 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 what I saw so too. take no, that no, back. No, 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 no. Said, I, I loved seeing him. Hong Kong Fooey, no, no, no. I loved seeing him. I love seeing and I, and him. I, no, 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 Dave. Yeah, I love seeing nest, him. He's and brilliant. it just, when Cuckoo's he down. meets his demise, it just, I, I was destroyed at that moment. <laughs> oh, see, I was really? like, I was, I thought, no, I, I thought, no, I thought it was going to happen sooner. 
<laughs> no, I, I did. I thought I thought, I thought he was, was gonna going to go going off to, the road before was going to kind of save yeah. the day, and I wanted him to rescue the little boy. Oh, I wanted you to, wanted him I to, did, but I did you really think the seventy year old man? Shuffling I, along, but, but yeah. you see, you know, barely able the, to walk. But you see, you that's would have been the irony. That would have been the great thing. Here's this old guy, you know, who's traveling through this. Traveling no, I think the, the irony is the that they spent half an hour on him getting up there, only to kill him. <laughs> and that's futile. I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think saying, that's great. I'm and, just saying, I didn't mind Scatman. Uh, I, I felt really warm and fuzzy when well, I that's saw lovely. him. That's lovely. But I'm just saying, it takes you out of the film of like. That he's going to save him at all. What, what There's no feel, I, You never I, felt, as much as you wanted him to, yeah. you never felt he would. For whatever the I, flaws of thought, the movie versus was, the book, Kubrick chance. made it atmospheric to the point of, you know, maybe more than any other Haunted House movie. Well, he made it unnerving. Well, yeah. I think that's the way, the way to describe yes. it. Well, so. And, and it, yes. what he does is he captures, he might not hit the novel beat for beat, but what he does do is he captures the essence, essence yeah. of the novel. Right. Well, that's totally. what you needed to do. And yeah. the thing is, it's just brilliantly done and everybody's so good in it. And you've got I, you know, our joke at the time when we were watching the trailers is if you were shut into a house with uh, what's the actress? Uh, Shelly Sh- 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 Duvall. Sh- Sh- you would go, go nuts crazy. too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. There was that feeling of like, really? Shelly <laughs> Duvall. No, Shelly yeah. Duvall. Yeah. Did you say Shelly? Shelly Long was <laughs> great. That would be that'd be, no. that'd be kind of scary too. <laughs> Shelly Long would be great. Though. <laughs> I don't know. That, that, that is, she was in a different horror film. But, uh, I, I gotta say that, the that Money is, Pit. Yes. That is one of the the problems of the movie. That's I mean, in the book, they they start as this you know dysfunctional but loving family and then you see it disintegrate in the beginning of the movie they're already kind of psycho no 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 but in the book it starts off where he's had an incident he was drinking he broke his son's arm right, right. all that stuff is there it's just when you see it performed it's like more real because that's what it will be like. When you read the book, you're like, oh, I hope they work it out and you want them. To. And right, the way right. it's described, it's like you feel like they are on the mend. Right. And that's kind of what it is with Nicholson. It's like, listen, honey, forgive me. Listen, right, I'm, I'm right. Gonna, you know, listen, I want to make a home for you guys. We're going to take this job. I'm going to work on that book. I'm going to work on the novel. Right, right. All that stuff. And then that's why it's so horrendous when – you roll up the paper and it says, yeah. "I'll work on yeah. well, that." So, and, and I do like the fact that he's psycho right from the beginning because it's like you need an like, edge of that. Yeah, and yeah. There, there is a there's a thing that you're like, "Oh wow, you." So barely have the lid on whatever problem is going on right now, right? Right, and, and this that's is the last thing you need. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, it also so, allows you to think that it's in his head. Yeah, right. You know, like, yeah, yeah. That's you're true. Being served the drink, you and, know, and, and a lot of the, the stuff, a um, lot of the stuff that the he uh, Kubrick did, like filming around this hotel, and just the the, the shot of following this little kid and the little little um, the uh, maze, three wheel. wheel. No, no, no. I'm talking about oh, oh, oh in right, the hotel. Yeah, yeah. You hear him go over over the rug. And yeah, then the, the sound, the, sound yes. the rug, and then the floor, and then yeah, the rug, yeah, the floor, yeah. and just this and the design of the and then those twins. Yeah, could yeah. you have found a more oh. creepy set of twins? Oh, yeah, no, really. and they're still around. They do the cons. Uh, do they really? Yeah, really? I would love yeah, to see them at Monster Palooza one day. Did you see just, the Kubrick exhibit? Yes, at, at, at Monster Palooza. Uh, I guess it's Mike Mike Hill, see, uh, the artist who created the Jack Nicholson. Statue. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, right, at Monster okay. Palooza, they had uh, it was like a shining scene basically oh, where nice. they had the little boy the twins and oh, then you have Jack yeah. with his axe and I, I think that's my wife's uh, I was actually it's Facebook page. absolutely <laughs> unbelievable if you guys go to Monster Palooza and I'm sure there are photos of it on, on the but internet. I was actually talking about the MoMA the Museum of Modern Art had the whole Kubrick display oh, yeah oh, and they oh, had yeah. the actual dress from the, the twins oh, wow. and they're just and they're they put them it was Perfectly displayed. They're just the dresses. Yeah, like, you know, not, <laughs> not, 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 <laughs> no, they really are ghosts. They have three right. dimensions. To I, I've got pictures on my phone, but well, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> and then uh, it's just so. I, I mean, the whole imagery, the, the woman, the you know, the turning into the dying. Oh that yeah, image, like, that was, yeah. That's, that's so there's an brilliant. interesting documentary came out a year or two ago called yeah. Room 237, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. which is, uh, you know, seven or eight um, theorists who have their own theories about what's behind the movie, like the Apollo 11 landing. And they're, all right. yeah, yeah, yeah. they're all crazy. <laughs> they're all crackpots, but they all <laughs> sincerely believe what they're talking and about. And that's available on Netflix, correct? I think, I think so. so. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. it just shows the power of that film as far as like, it's a film that like people watch and interpret. And, and their own way. Right. They, I they, own that they on Laserdisc. I owned it, it on yeah. DVD. I'll probably get it on Blu-ray. It's one of those movies that yeah. when it's on, I watch it. Yeah, Abs- yeah. Abs- always. And, this- and and I do love also the documentary on the DVD. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess Kubrick's wife yeah. shot. The kind of documentary you would never see for any movie nowadays. Yeah. Because it's, it's real candid 
He moments. makes Shelley Duvall cry. <laughs> and poor Scatman Crothers, like, what did Kubrick do to him? Where they're interviewing him, and he's just like, I just want to say that these people are beautiful, and this is a beautiful thing. And like, <laughs> you know, it's amazing. This film was made back in 1980, you know, and it's it, it's really hit a chord, you know, with a lot yeah, of people, yeah. as far mm-hmm. as, like, uh, you know, spooky well, ghost Well, can I movies. tell you, too, is the brilliance of the, the, the trailer. Oh yeah, classic. When I go into the theater, because back then you didn't see them constantly like you see them now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when it came out in the theaters and that blood coming down, and they kept cutting back to the blood coming down yeah. the hallway, it was like you just I've got to see this film. <laughs> and, and Dave, yeah. They didn't have any dialogue or anything. Did no, it was just, all it was, the music. It was visual. Cuts to the twins. Cuts to the twi- that's and, the, right, and, that's and uh, Danny remember. with his eyes yeah. you know, going up in his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All that stuff was yeah. such great imagery. Yeah. Uh, brilliant film. Was mm-hmm. another uh, Stephen King haunted hotel story turned into yes. a movie 1408 yeah, yeah, yeah. which I rather liked. it wasn't bad it yeah. was one of those movies that I, I think I would have been pissed if I'd seen it in the theater yeah yeah. <laughs> it's one of those ones that if you catch it on cable you just go oh this was not that bad yeah, yeah. no there were good things about it and <laughs> Late I watched it I watched it and afterwards I went well that was on <laughs> yeah, but, yeah but there were moments I, yeah, some I do yeah. I must say I do like um, and we did it on American Horror Story which I was on the first season of. Uh, great, by the great way season um, of that. the first uh, season Higgins was, was on American Horror Story yeah. yeah ooh the first season the which is American the American Horror Story the one no. I like the best yes yeah, the I like first season but I do like that idea of the history like like seeing and the entity. What's the other film? Not the entity. The um, it's the not the life. Legend of Hell House. Legend. No, of Hell no, House. no. But Which that's we have another to get one. To. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. Well, let's go to Hell House. That's one of my favorites. It, yeah. I mean, Richard Matheson's story. Uh, I believe he also who, did the uh, who wrote so many of the Twilight Zones. Yes, and, yeah. yeah. Classic so many writer. Great uh, the original I Am Legend and. Um, uh, Roddy Which McDowell. the original one is hysterical. If you haven't seen anything with Vincent Price, though, <laughs> where oh, he's yeah. like, I'm with all alone here. I'll have to kill, <laughs> kill these vampires. <laughs> I'm going the to work minute. my lathe now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great movie. It That's is. A great it's, movie. A, it's, it's not a but ghost it, movie. But it's, it's funny to watch your him. typical action hero, though. Vincent he's, yeah, he's, it's, it's, it's awesome. Well, That's why I, I listen to Old Time Radio, and he does The Saint. Which is really the, yeah, he plays and it. they're fantastic because he's he's flirting with women and getting into <laughs> fist fights, and it just sounds hysterical. So if you ever you have a you chance, are one yeah. hot patootie, it's that kind of stuff, you know. You're well, very attractive. Since we did I, mention I, mention the Legend of Hell House, this is one of those films that uh, let's see, it came out in '73, and it was shown uh, in Northern California. I remember it being shown on KTVU Channel Two, like a. A, a ton of times. I remember seeing it. I don't know, like thirty times. But I absolutely loved it. In the opening and, credits of mm. Creature Features. Yeah, yeah. And it's similar to the the uh, plot of The Haunting. Yeah, right. it's very right. Yeah, and it has the same kind of ensemble cast. But the it's idea. Like four, it's like four right. people. Go, okay, so they're all go to they're this trying house. to scientific scientifically prove you know there's, there's a haunting here or not. Yeah. Or and it's, it's it. really and well clean, done. Clean. And how to right. clean it? Yeah. yeah. And that's probably why he called it that as sort of an homage. Hill House, yeah. the haunting Hill House, of Hell Hell House. House. Yeah, mm-hmm. totally. Yeah, that's no, great. But, but there's a lot of really cool things in that, oh, that yeah. film. It's good. It's really mm-hmm. stylish. And uh, Roddy McDowell is great. Roddy yeah. McDowell is always great. And and then the uh, the kind of twist ending that's. Mm-hmm. Crazy so weird and, and bizarre. <laughs> yeah. Films like that, and also the entity. Uh, I think and inside started, started the whole um, ghost hunting phenomena, which is my what my show, International Ghost Investigators, Hollywood Division is all. I, I'm not aware of that. The, anyway, <laughs> what, what uh, the ghost hunting it started that, that genre TV? of people actually going out and doing that. Right, you right. know, like mm-hmm. flash photography can, you know, like in the, the early one where it's like the idea tripping the strings. Yes, you right, know? right. And yeah. it's like, yeah. oh, how amazing if it actually catches something and it. That's just that idea of people going out and like catching the sounds and the you know MVPs. The, you know. And whether you EVPs, ever caught EVPs. anything, and it must be just a thrill to like you get all your equipment and you get out there and you get some static and you scare the shit out of yourself in <laughs> yeah. some you know well, uh, EVP, abandoned sanitarium. EVPs thing is the greatest because it's you know you're taking audio and then like a lot of times playing it backwards or yeah, you know trying yeah. to find sounds that are you just hear like a. Oh my yeah. God, it's a ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you hear this. <laughs> and, you'll, and you'll notice. I when, want exactly. some cheese. Yeah, when it says it underneath, it's a lot easier for you to interpret it the way they want you to. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Right, right. We think yeah. it might say. Yeah. Yeah. Right, exactly. Uh, ghosts speak clearer. <laughs> yeah. You know, we had talked earlier about anything with uh, like little kids and ghosts. It's always kind of creepy. And uh, there was a film, I don't know if you guys saw this because it's, I don't know if it's really well known, but it's uh, from 2001, The Devil's Backbone. Oh, that was yeah, one directed right. by yeah. Guillermo del Toro. Yeah. yeah, because it's 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 not a oh, it's, right. it's yeah, all yeah. in Spanish. 
it, and, isn't it takes which place is in scary. Franco's, uh, isn't it in fascist Spain? Yeah, it. it no, yeah, it's Spanish and Spanish, which makes it automatically very scary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you you you, if you stick with the subtitles, but it has to deal with this this orphanage, yes, yeah. where kids are being taken care of uh, during uh, during this war, and it is so incredibly creepy, and uh, that that film really blew me away. Yeah, uh, it was a good one. That was a really really creepy kid well, film. That also it's the idea of like when things are in another language, or when they're things that you don't recognize readily. They can make they can fool you because you don't know mm-hmm. it that there's, well. There's mm-hmm. one one step exactly removed like in, from like it, in so Poltergeist. Like watching... We do live in suburbia. Oh, stop saying it's that. It's harder yeah. to fool <laughs> right. us. Right. But I'm just saying if you take it to Spain mm-hmm. and or uh, right or, or in fact if it's an old black and white movie it kind of lends already itself an air of kind of like well you know, a lot of times I just want to watch horror that's old black and white mm-hmm. just like right, that's right. the mood I'm in and like there's a time like you know I don't want to watch a modern one necessarily I want to watch something right. old I want to see something like the right. Cat Creepy. Canary or, or even something. if it's right. something like ultra low budget you don't really know you know you're out oh. of that comfort zone well, yeah yeah, yeah. No, no, right. something not too slick or whatever right I have, like, I, go ahead I was gonna say I have one that's a very different kind of like uh, ghost film, but it is a ghost film that people would maybe forget, which is uh, a Herschel Gordon Lewis film, 2000 Maniacs. Is that a ghost uh, film? Which is, a, is it uh, <laughs> yes, a ghost it is film? A gore film. Uh, it's a gore film and it's a ghost <laughs> film from the 60s. Uh-huh. It's basically like it's it's these uh, tourists uh, alert into this like southern town. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I remember they're that. They're celebrating this, this centennial festival, yeah, right, festival right. Uh, for like the Union victory in the Civil War. And but it, it turns out the, the whole town is. Um, this is spoilers. From the, Sorry, yeah, yeah. the whole town is made up of ghosts, oh. yeah. and they are, are they are uh, killing all these people in horrible ways as as revenge against against the Yankees, and, wow, and, right. and it's it's great. But it's it's Based actually on a true story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but it's it's actually it's so yes, yeah, it's, it's a very cheap and kind of gaudy kind of gore f- er, er, yeah, early fifties yeah, yeah. or yeah. early sixties gore yeah. film. But but of all like Gordon Lewis's films, it's, it's my actually, favorite too. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, actually it's kind of clever. Too. And then yeah. there's a, the whole you know when you go back to that whole genre of you know we're talking about the, the Sixth Sense, mm-hmm. but the idea of those especially the British films where it's the compilation of all these stories where somebody's in purgatory but they don't know it. Yeah. you know, like they're all at the dinner table. Oh, right. like tell your Chris. story. It's basically Tales from the crypt how you all died. Dead, dead of night. Dead, dead of night. The forties. Yes. Right. Dead of night. Yeah. Right. You know, Sean. There's another uh, kind of cheesy uh, ghost film that I really like because. Richard Carlson from the creature film Black Lagoon is in it. It's a film called Tormented. Oh and, yeah, yeah. And, and Bert I. Gordon. Thing, the Bert I. Gordon. And the thing I love about it is it it is cheesy. It's like you know all the money went yeah. to pay for Richard Carlson basically. <laughs> yeah. You know, the effects this, are very it, cheesy. It, and, and actually, I, I I hear those two versions. One the 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 female uh, lead in it uh, was her name um, uh, Julie Reading or R- Reading. She. There's a little nudity in the film that they only used for the European version, mm, okay. the American version. That. You don't what? see, but nice. uh, without it's, giving it's too like much she's away, she's like a jilted but, lover. But, but basically, yes. Describe yes, it. Yes. How is it? Yes. Describe the nudity. Really, really interesting. So, yeah. so you have Richard that sounds Carlson. Interesting. Not That's sure a hot about ghost action to be together yeah. with this gal. They right. go up to the top of the lighthouse, and she. Well, there's also stories of, of, acts, of, of ghosts wanting uh, humans to be dead so they can be with them. Well, yeah, yes, right, right. And what's there's this great scene. There's this great scene where he's having these Women. hallucinations yeah. or, or what you think are hallucinations and where he, her head appears right, and he right. grabs it and she and she says uh, keeps saying to, uh, Tom his dad, Stewart Tom said, killed Kill me. me Tom Stewart and he's, yeah, yeah. And he's oh, and he throws it in the towel and he takes, takes it outside <laughs> yeah, yeah. trips and it rolls down the stairs and it's great and it's so great and cheesy that Mystery Science oh, yeah. Theater took it oh, yeah, right, and yeah. they did a whole version of it which is hilarious but so speaking it, it of is, the sexy ghost yes uh, the Spirit is Willing. Did you, you familiar with that film? Is a Carl Reiner um, comedy? This, right? Yes, it is oh, a comedy. Yeah, uh, that was I think William Castle. No, right? no, it's no. Sid Caesar's in it. Sid Caesar's in it, right? Oh, okay. Isn't I think, it? I think so. They I think rent William a house Castle for the summer to write it. in. And, yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. But the ghost wants everybody dead to. To have right. sex with has, that's right. Made, that's right. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's a great I, I, movie. Okay. Uh, well, I'll to put that one down. Well, then there's also, if we're going to go that direction, there's The Ghost in the Invisible Bikini. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Classic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That was Kubrick, right? Of, that, was, <laughs> that was Kubrick. <laughs> that was, that was, wait, wait. Yeah. It's, it's an invisible bikini, but it's a ghost. So what's the point? Yeah. Well, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. It's, uh, it, 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 it it frightens you on many levels. Well, no, but <laughs> as, a, as a let's say you're a 60 year old boy, or it's the 1960s, and you don't see nudity 
movie very often except a National Geographic or a Cosmo. <laughs> right. So the idea of an invisible bikini yeah, is the title alone. No matter who's wearing it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, and then if you don't I see remember, anything. Like the, the bikini would disappear first and then she'd disappear. Yes. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, 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 I remember yeah. that movie yeah. well. <laughs> and a lot of these films all aired in like, you know, daytime Mm-hmm. You know, daytime programming on local channels, you right? Yeah, totally. The place, you know, with like three Stooges shorts and things like that. Yeah. Well, so, one, one of my favorite ghost movies uh, is not is not scary at all. It's uh, basically a Harlequin romance. It's from 1947, and it's the Ghost of Mrs. Muir. <gasps> I was going to mention that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. TV yeah. show. Yeah. Rex Harrison no, and Gene Tierney. Yeah. Yeah. Another, yeah. another example of drama in black and white. Comedy in color, but yeah, when yeah, they did yeah, the yeah, sitcom, yeah. the sitcom, with right, right. Charles Nelson Reilly was he? And that's uh, right. Hope yes. Lang, Hope Charles, Lang, yeah. and Edward but the, Mulher. But the Edward movie, the Mulher movie was, was much more, yeah. is more they, no, serious. The movies, yeah, it's, it's, it's very dark. Yeah, it yeah, turns out dark when he gets jealous, and mm-hmm. the whole thing of like, there's the idea they can't be together. No, and she right. knows it, but he. It's a tragic love story, exactly. But it's it's a great that is a great classy, devastatingly sentimental, but a beautiful Bernard Herrmann score. Which and if it weren't for that, I probably would never would have seen it because I'm a big Bernard Herrmann fan. But uh, beautiful. beautiful. Well, in the in the lines of romantic uh, ghost stories, I don't know. Is anyone ghost. here a big fan of 1990s Ghost? No. Patrick Swayze, <laughs> Demi Moore. You I'm know, a it's yeah. funny. Whoopi you know, here, I, I, no, I, I'm going to go out on a limb here. You know, there's uh, that film was huge, guys. It was a huge film. I mean, it made a ton of money. Well, totally. And I was one of those people. I felt so. I wanted that couple to, you know, everything to work out. But of course, the movie's called <laughs> Ghost. You know, something's going to happen. And it, it was very emotional to me. So I, I Ghost was something that I, I you yeah, know, really I, liked. I can't say I'm a fan of that movie, but it's got one of the greatest moments in it is when he's trying to annoy the hell out of Whippy Goldberg by singing I'm Henry the Eighth. Which, whenever I want to annoy the hell out of my wife, I sing that. Um, <laughs> well, and I don't know how many chicks I've been with that I did sculpting with. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, let us not forget that Whoopi Goldberg won an Academy Award, I think. Yeah, she did uh, she win for that? Supporting did actress, she? yeah. Yeah, really? Wow. So. Yeah, wow. see, wow. surprised yeah, you. There were no yeah. other movies. No other that films were made that year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, uh, just lovely. for the people out but, there but, who are ghosts, who, you know, but, fans of the movie no, Ghost. But wait a minute. Mm-hmm. There, but even in that movie, mm-hmm. there's a couple moments where you go, that this is interesting. Like, there were some interesting the, the, uh, jumping through the, the subway cars. Yeah, the ghost. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the ghost in the subway. Or or how about I like the idea that when you get mad, and angry, and emotional, you can move things. Yes. Yeah. Or, well, or there's also something great. I'm sorry, nope. but that whole idea of ghosts being able to see other ghosts, mm-hmm. children mm-hmm. can see you, type of thing, mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. animals sense you, you know, that type of thing. Or how about there's that certain moment when you do become a ghost and something comes to get you. You know, is right. it this oh, light? Or is it the dark? Speaking and, of great and there is that that really that's creepy. creepy. Me out. Yeah, people, for, creepy. people forget I, about another that. comedy film that's great with that. A horror <laughs> comedy is um, what is, the Frighteners. <gasps> oh, oh with, yeah, with Michael yeah. J. Fox. Yeah, because it does oh, exactly that. Peter, it has the Peter, the Peter Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a great. I, film. You know yeah. that that I don't think it gets a lot of play. It doesn't at all. It's a little uneven. I thought that movie it went. It, it, got, it was too cartoonish at times. I mean, it, got, it went too, too far, yeah. I think, sometimes. I it was too much. Like, yes, but there's some great aspects oh, to no, it. Oh, no, there are, definitely. It's, it's a very... Um, and it's an entertaining film. Yeah, it's an impressively the, you know, produced movie, we, but it's like... There's just, very few of these films we've mentioned tonight that would be Academy Award caliber. Yeah, <laughs> I would yeah. say uh, Shining would probably be one for me. Sure. But yeah, I mean, the Innocence, but it, I would yeah. absolutely yeah. say yeah, that. Yeah, there's a few, yeah. but let, let's say there's five. Okay. <laughs> okay. But go ahead. I'm going to say six. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, so also, you know, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say Jim. also talk about like, like revenge ghost movies. Um, I really, I still love um, John Carpenter's The Fog. Mm. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I, it, is, it is a ghost. The Fog is a ghost yeah, movie. Yeah, it's a ghost That's, I, I like that yeah, one a lot. It's, it's the you know the Antonio that. Bay that yeah. you're celebrating your hundredth hundred, uh, anniversary, <clears throat> but the whole town was like the founding fathers of the town. You know, kind of forced the, these seamen who were were like lepers, and they yeah, were like yeah, they yeah, forced yeah. them to crash their ship, and so they died because they didn't want them on the on the island. And then then they come back and shrouded in this fog. And that film was really good. And what's interesting is that is that when Carpenter made that movie, the first cut of that movie, and he, and he always has said this in an interview, like he he admits it, like the first cut like sucked. It didn't work. He he went all the, he went much more. Much more subtle Val Luton style, where like you didn't yeah, see suggesting anything. Suggesting things, yeah. Which is an interesting I think approach. Almost always with ghost stuff, that works the best. But, but, but they, yeah. it didn't work in screenings, and they uh-huh. went back and kind of added things. But I think in, in defense of that film, the final product, they did a good balance. Because mm-hmm. well, like, you I, had I, the shock. But what I'm you know, saying is, there's, 
there's something great about back in the day when you didn't see the monster or you didn't sure. see the spirit sure. or the thing until the okay. end where the guys put all the special effects in it. But now it's like they have you know, to, nowadays, the wolf, yeah. the wolf man turns immediately. Huh. You know, it's like yeah, yeah. the first scene of the movie, he turns instead of just mysteriously, there's been an attack from animals. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, and I think we lose a lot with that stuff. Yes. Uh, um, yeah. I, I think we absolutely have to bring up the, the Japanese ghost movies. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, we were talking yeah. about that. Is J- the idea J-Horror. of they've yeah. almost they yeah. almost died the off. Ring and Juan. Isn't it funny though? Like I prefer the Ringu. But <laughs> I, I do. I agree with yeah. you. I prefer but the Ringu. Is it, as well. I always find it so funny that like when that 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 genre took off in Japan and became so big, and then America latched onto it, and like America started making Japanese horror films. Like it's, I mean, like right. why, well, like why bother remaking the like the original Ring in Japanese is great. They but have see, to remake but, it. but like, most Americans don't watch like no i know foreign countries will funny. watch we'll watch right. subtitle films yeah but so, it's just funny that we just like films. we just started making making the exact but same let me movies. just say though we there's, make a, so... there's a little subtle differences yeah yeah uh, certain things that a japanese audience takes for granted mm-hmm. we won't uh right. you know uh certain ways people react um the idea that a lot of people do believe in ghosts in japan right. also right. there right. are yeah, a, a, lot of very culture, yeah. a lot of cultural icons that you that's that what i mean yeah up. yeah and uh, that even just the style of the ghost and the ring and juan and all that is so very japanese right. it is kind of odd to see this as the the sort of main villain in an american film yeah. but well, you know what yeah. they do place the film in japan so yeah they do but yeah. i mean like I mean, remember the original you know, the remake of the ring where you see the face it's like yeah it's over the top face. it's too much you never saw the face no, in no. ring you didn't have yeah. to no. one like eye they, is scary yeah again totally. it's like that idea though that you don't have to show everything in the first 10 minutes totally of the film. Yeah. yeah i have a theory that the uh when the maker of the ring was a kid he saw poltergeist and thought oh wow a haunted tv why didn't the japanese think of that well i'm gonna go one better it'll be a vhs tape i'm gonna make right, it right. scary oh, <laughs> well you know oh, what oh. Actually, uh, <laughs> if you think about it it would probably be a uh, beta Tape. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sony, damn, much more Panasonic. damn you, Higgins! <laughs> you know we've talked a lot about you know like motion pictures and stuff. There, uh, I think we're kind of avoiding one of the most famous ghosts, which would be Casper, the friendly ghost, which was and the worst cartoons. What? No, and, you know, and know what, one Dave? Of the Dave most... I, I'm gonna have to. Will st- you be my friend? And, as no, somebody no, pointed out, one point is <laughs> Richie Rich is the is actually Casper. Yeah, well, it's, actually, you know, it's funny you should say that. The, I think the very first, the very first Casper cartoon. Okay, Casper was created at uh, Har- was Harvey Comics, or, yeah, 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 and yeah. Uh, he came out like what the 30s, the uh, it's like 30, uh, 39, and the first cartoon was in 45, and the first cartoon is actually he's actually a a, a, a chubby little kid. He's like you Charlie know? Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, 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 no. He's chubbier. He's chubbier. Did they ever explain, on... explain how he died? Well, that's the funny thing. They never did. Uh, uh, I know. No, no. In the in the motion picture that came years later in the nineties, which was a su- just that was just an attempt to destroy it was Just a suggestion. Exactly. <laughs> they bought Universal. And they, but <laughs> listen, I have a whole theory about I, I, that. I, no, Sean, I I actually love Casper the Friendly Coast. Let me just and, say though, and, they should never have messed with <laughs> the, the heads of Universal when uh, what was it? Uh, who's the guy who was the head of uh, MCA and? Uh, when he bought Universal, he was the he 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 developed Mark. He put uh, he was the idea of putting packaging where you, mm-hmm. John uh, <clears throat> French, and, uh, he was hugely powerful agent, the Seagram's guy? Man, manager. John no. Ma- is Seagram's Meyer? bought him later it's after right. they, But Not anyway, Ma- Panasonic bought you uh, a Universal and basically kind of threw all the executives away. Not Lou Wasserman. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lou, okay. Wasserman. Lou Wasserman. So oh, yeah. Lou Wasserman, Very one nice. of the most powerful men in Hollywood, and the, he kind of pushed him to the side. And I think they greenlit all these horrible movies because the Universal went so down in price by the time Seagram's bought them. Yeah, right. And then Seagram's lost money with it, and then it became NBC when, it, when they picked. Yeah, it up. that was like yeah, a but, bad period. Well, yeah. but, but, I, I just Cap- wanted to say Casper, the classic <laughs> cartoon, Dave. That's what I was talking about. And they also, what's the other movie we, they made? If we could get serious, Do you for remember a second? what the yeah, other just movie serious. is? Right, yeah, ahead, Casper, right. the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> Did and they the make thing, a sequel to because, that too? Well, there were many cartoons. No, but they Sean. made a sequel to them. They also made Garfield at that time. You know that? No, no, no. I'm talking about. The, the cartoon oh, no, the cartoon back yeah, in 1945. Sure. The cartoon Walter was Lance the, cartoons. Yeah, but the cartoon was the, the same worst cartoon ever. ever. Yeah. I loved, I loved Casper. I, I don't miss Casper's friend. But, but, going for cartoons. But, but wait a minute, hold on now. But he also made Woody Woodpecker, Pete Panda. I mean, if you ever had meetings yeah. at Universal in the 80s, <laughs> or actually early 90s for myself, we, they'd go in and they'd always say, You got any days for Pete Panda? Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> Dave, I'm not saying Woody Woodpecker was like, Can we do a Daffy Duck that's more annoying? More annoying. 
Oh yeah. my god. The only good thing about Woody Woodpecker is the Woody Woodpecker polka sang by Frank Sinatra. Yeah, oh, and yeah. Woody Woodpecker is but, but very no, ghostly. No, 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 now Casper, <laughs> Casper's a fascinating. They might they didn't even know the gold mine that they were sitting on because <laughs> Casper is such a frightening story. The little boy who died, and he's he's friends with the Antichrist. <laughs> hot oh, stuff. Where do you, where do you get no, that's hot right. stuff? Oh, oh, he was the devil. devil. No, no, oh, the devil. That, that comes I later. Liked hot stuff, now that actually. comes later. Oh, yeah. I like that. Hot comes stuff. in the sixties. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's but also, the aren't they? Didn't they do B- Huey or yeah? The, the, the weird, duck, like, like retarded duck yeah. or something. Yeah. Like, what's was, going on? Like, yeah, they were like the worst. This politically incorrect. Those were like mentally handicapped. Let me just say, those were the comic books that when you were a kid and you were sick, your mom would bring to you. Yeah, exactly. Mom, no, not crack. I want tales from the crib. What a mess. Well, I did like. Like you didn't early, like you didn't early. like Baby Huey early. though, right? No, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I a monster kid. Again, I like he's not a ghost. ghost. Okay, he's not a ghost. So hey, the going, classic early Caspers, sure, sure. I really like. From, from cartoons to toys oh. from the sixties. Do you guys remember Spookies? They were like this little glow in the dark plastic yeah. ghost. Yeah, there was like grandma yeah, yeah, yeah. ghost and, yes. and like and like motorcycle. There's like, we also the, the, there's the haunted a haunted house d- game. Yes, yeah. yeah. Well, we're getting back. There's some cool games. And then there's the so little yeah. ghost though. Sean, those are so valuable now. They, they, they you, glow in the dark. If you go yeah. on eBay to try yeah, to find like any of those, they're yeah. they're really I used to really have expensive. I burned them though. Oh, I can't believe I'm sure you I burned the fire. What kind of kid? <laughs> but their you? ghosts live on. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. ghosts are the oh, ghosts. Yeah. But you were you were talking about games though. There is another really yeah, cool haunted house. Game, and then there was right? the the ghost, the green ghost, the green oh, ghost, yeah, the yeah. finger. Now, did and you go guys out? have that? A, now, it, no, a friend of a friend of mine had, had it. That. A friend of mine had it, and it's, it's kind of like a it's three dimensional game. The ghost is green. He glows in the dark, Do and he has that. a he he the sticks out his arm with a pointer, and he's pointing his finger cool. down. And you're supposed to spin the ghost, and it spins around, and it's supposed to That's be pointing. Awesome. And, and, like and you're anymore. supposed to play it in the dark. You're supposed to because play it in the dark. Yeah. You don't play games anymore, yeah. <laughs> except on a that's computer. True. Yeah, that's well, that's yeah, that's yeah. true. But that was a really cool. So now you could have a 3D ghost that would go around. Yeah, if they could, there there should be a green ghost app. There probably. Is, okay, right? Sean, did you ever do that? Like on the back of comic books, they would have there were these advertisements, and there was one specifically <laughs> yes. for you could get your own ghost, and it was a you know, sheet and it was and a, a dollar. Oh, yeah, that's I right. did, okay, oh I sent my dollar, oh I, my I sent the dollar for the dollar. Frankenstein, and then I the, the and it ghost, was a sheet of paper. They said, life size Frankenstein, sheet of paper, have your own, right. it, was, life-size it was not paper, it was like a thin plastic, it was like a oh, plastic, right. like okay. a garbage Vinyl. bag material, oh, my and the paint, the, the, the thing was on it, and you're supposed to put a balloon with helium. Um, yeah, well, yeah. well, and, I, and 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 one other thing about the balloons. Uh, what my wife, one of uh, one of the toys that my wife got as a kid that she w- always wanted to find again, and I found it on eBay. It was a Casper the Friendly Ghost balloon, and what it was is a uh, balloon yeah, that was, was figured. Yeah, and it, yeah, he was shaped like we a figure eight, and you would blow uh, it up, yeah, and okay. you take the little cardboard feet and tie the little knot. Uh, and yeah. put it okay, in. that yeah. used to be an early Pizza Hut uh, giveaway too. Yeah. Was the Pizza Hut guy with feet? <laughs> Yeah, wow. yeah, it's the same wow. principle, now, but there was a cast for the friendly now, ghost. The, on a similar note here, yeah. in a comic book, it, it was advertised the monster ghost, and it was this was ghost-looking that? thing with a horrible, horrible face, and and it was only a dollar, yeah, only a dollar, a dollar is a lot back then, but <laughs> yeah. you know, it was, yeah. it was, yeah. so remote controlled, right? right. So oh, I ordered right. this thing, yeah, yeah, and I ordered this thing, and I'm expecting, you know, the remote control like right. Johnny Sacco remote control, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right? So I wait and wait and wait. Finally comes. And it's that exact thing that you're talking about. It is literally the Casper balloon with the sheet of paper <laughs> that you put over it, and the remote, remote control, control is, a string. is, uh, is yeah, is a fishing Thread. line. Thread. Okay. Fishing line. <laughs> That's so classic. it's so so. I set this thing up just like well, maybe if it's set up, it'll look better. And it's like I, I will say this. It's way more frightening than the Muppet Ghost and Poltergeist. Oh, <laughs> oh, right. oh, right. oh no! Now uh, this is totally off topic, but there was a episode of Get a Life where Chris finally gets his submarine. Did you ever see that one? <laughs> no. And he puts it in the shower stall, and he's filling the whole shower stall with water, and then the water breaks. Like it's like the beginning of the show. The water breaks and like knocks his dad down, and like puts him in a wheelchair, and then he has to take care of him. But the whole idea is that he finally got his submarine that he had ordered for the back of the right, tanks, right. which those were all cardboard. Yeah, right, right, right. right. Again, right. we never had the money to send for that stuff. Yeah, exactly. there's a great episode of Leave It to Beaver where he 
gets the, the he has to sell all the seeds or oh that's right uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or whatever yeah. it is he sold I think it was hair maybe it was seeds it, it might have been seeds or it was either that or like because uh, that was one of those things you could do burpee yeah. seeds mm-hmm. but anyway he won got the projector and it was this little plastic well, so his dad went out and bought him like a real projector right because wow. he had been disappointed as a kid and it's one of those ones where you go God I wish you know <laughs> I wish we had to do that. Yeah. poor Hugh Beaumont yeah I know a million <laughs> kids just like be my father who is now a ghost. <laughs> Oh. Sean, thank you for bringing it home. That was good. Yeah. That was great. Well, this has been a great, uh, yeah. great episode. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ghosts, and, ghosts. Uh, yeah, we all ghosts. They've touched yeah. us all. It's amazing very, how fun many. And I'm sure there's tons that we missed. Mm-hmm. Sure, but it's a genre that is never going to die. It's going to literally. Ah. Ah. Well, that's why International Ghost Investigators, Hollywood Division on Audience Network on uh, Channel 239 on, Check on it out. TV. All that's right. why it's going to be evergreen. That's All right. right. There you have it. I'm going to check it. that out, man. You well, awesome. uh, that's our show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am Matt Weinhold. I am Sean Sheridan. I'm Larry Stroth. And I'm James Gonis. And I'm Dave Higgins. Keep America strong. Watch horror movies. Ooh. There's a war on terror, so be careful out there.